Today on Sci Guys, crystallization. Hey, I'm Ryan. I'm Adam. And we're the Sci Guys. On today's episode, we're going to be showing you how to grow your own crystal. You require additional pylons. Yes, Commander. I shall obey. Who are you talking to? No one. Crystallization is a natural or artificial process of forming a solid crystalline precipitate out of a solution or melted substance. The equipment you're going to need for this experiment is a glass or beaker, some fishing line or thread, a popsicle stick, a coffee filter, and the only ingredients you're going to need are boiling water and alum. Alum is used for pickling and you can find it in your local grocery store. So although we're not dealing with anything particularly dangerous today, it's still a good idea to wear your lab coat and goggles to protect against spills and splashes. The first step is to create some starter crystal seeds, which will act as the starting point where our larger crystals will grow from. Begin by filling your glass half full of hot water. Next, add a bunch of alum to your water. Stir your solution until all the alum has been dissolved into the water. Continue to add small portions of alum to your water and mix it in until the alum stops dissolving in the water. This will be apparent when some of the alum powder remains at the bottom of the glass. Place a paper towel or coffee filter over the glass and leave it in a room or cupboard where it won't be disturbed so it can cool. Let the glass sit until you have a large enough seed crystal at the bottom of the glass to tie a fishing line around. This process can take a few hours or up to a few days to complete. Once you think you have a large enough seed crystal, pour the liquid into a new cup and remove the largest seed crystal. Take your seed crystal and tightly tie the fishing line around it. Be careful not to break your seed crystal. Tie the other end of your fishing line around the popsicle stick. Reheat your solution in a microwave. Then add all the extra crystals back into the hot water and mix it until all the crystals have been dissolved. Rest the popsicle stick across the top of the glass so that the crystal is in the middle of the liquid and not touching the bottom or any of the sides. Leave your crystal to grow a few days. After a few days, if there are crystals accumulating on the bottom of the glass, remove your large crystal that is attached to the stick from your solution, reheat your solution in the microwave, and stir it until all the crystals have been dissolved. You can add any extra alum you have at this stage to increase how large your crystal will grow. Repeat this step until there are no more crystals growing on the bottom of your glass. Once you're done growing your crystal, remove it from the water, let it dry, and you will now have your very own alum crystal formation. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. All liquids have a set solubility to a specific substance at room temperature. Some liquids have high solubilities, Others have low solubilities. Solubility is the amount of a particular substance that can be dissolved into a specific liquid. As the temperature of a liquid increases, the solubility also increases. In our experiment, our water's temperature is much higher than room temperature. This means that the amount of alum we can dissolve into the water is much greater than if the water was at room temperature. This creates a supersaturated solution. Supersaturated solutions are solutions that have a higher solubility than what the liquid could normally handle. When we leave our solution on the shelf, the temperature of our solution slowly drops back down to room temperature. As the temperature drops, the maximum solubility of the water drops as well. This leads to our solution releasing molecules of alum, and these molecules form a solid precipitate. As our solution gets cooler and cooler, it releases more and more alum molecules. These alum molecules accumulate at the bottom of our glass and create crystal formations. The thing about alum molecules is that they would rather attach to an existing alum molecule or crystal formation rather than starting a new one. This is proven when we add our seed crystal to our warm solution and as the solution cools, the precipitated alum molecules attach to the seed crystal over and over again to create a large crystal formation. This process is called crystallization. The shape of the crystal is specific to the substance. Different substances like sugar or salt will create crystal formations of different shapes. We will be exploring the shapes of different crystal substances and how to create them in future episodes. So that was how to grow your own crystals at home using crystallization. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember to comment and subscribe down below on YouTube. 
And make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for all the science news you like. And if you have any questions related to this experiment, or if you're having trouble in school with science, feel free to ask us any question you want, and we'll be more than happy to help you answer it. Thanks for watching. Thanks, bye. The commander will be pleased. Here at SciGuys, we're always curious how experiments turn out, so if you do these experiments at home, record them and submit them to us as a video reply to this video. But remember, always get your parents' permission before you submit any videos to YouTube.